One way to look at the difference between calculus and all math prior to calculus is that pre-calculus mathematics focuses on what things are, while calculus focuses on how things are changing. So in geometry, we want to find the area, perimeter, and volume of a rectangle. Well, maybe not the volume. But in calculus, we want to find how the area changes as the perimeter changes. So we need to talk about change. In general, the amount of change is the amount at the end minus the amount at the start. For example, a town's population grew from 30,000 to 80,000. What was the population change? Now, it's important to keep in mind you should always include units. Since the numbers represent population, the implied units are persons, 30,000 persons, 80,000 persons. And so the change was the population at the end minus the population at the start fifty thousand persons. And so we say the town's population changed by fifty thousand persons. We often use words that indicate a direction of change. For example, if a quantity goes from four to ten, the change is the amount at the end minus the amount at the start. That's 10 minus 4, or 6. And so we could say that it has changed by 6. Or we could also say that it has increased by 6. What if the quantity goes from 10 to 4? So again, the change is the amount at the end minus the amount at the start. And here, that change is negative 6. Now, we could say that the quantity decreased, but an important rule, never, 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 never mix a direction with a sign. So we can say that it has changed by negative 6, or we can say it has decreased by 6, no sign. So, for example, a car's speed went from 75 miles per hour to 0 miles per hour. And let's describe its speed change in two ways. Now, a mile is an archaic unit of distance used only in Liberia, Myanmar, and one other country whose name escapes me. So, the speed change is the speed at the end minus the speed at the start. So, that's 0 minus 75 or negative 75 miles per hour. And so we could say the speed changed by negative 75 miles per hour. Or we could say that our speed decreased. And remember, never mix signs with directions. So decreased is a direction, got less. And so we should say decreased by 75 miles per hour. Now, while the amount of change is important, we need more. A car's speed can decrease by 75 miles per hour over a distance of 300 feet by applying the brakes, or within one one hundredth of a second by crashing. We want the change of one quantity with respect to another quantity, and we'll look at that next.